presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pearl Presenter Show. On today's show, why your operator screen is being covered up by either a stage screen or an audience screen when you enable those in Pro 7. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I teach all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if this has ever happened to you, maybe it's happening to you right now, and that's why you're watching this tutorial, go ahead, uh, like, subscribe, and tell me about it in the comments below. So this is something that I hear quite often with people that are new to ProPresenter. And let me show you how to get around this problem, because it's not supposed to be like this, but there are a couple of different causes that, that could cause that. So let's head over to my computer and we will take a look. So the very first thing that I'm going to check is, uh, and it's different in Mac OS versus Windows, but if we go to System Settings here in Mac OS, and I go to displays right here. The very first thing you need to make sure is that these displays are not mirrored. So notice next to use as we've got main display. That's for the one that has the uh, the dock on it, etc. It'll also have uh, other icons on it. Or mirror for, etc. So that's for this one. Now notice this one, I have it set to an extended display, and that's what I want to do. I could change that to the main display, or I can mirror the other displays, but I need to make sure that they are all set to extend that's the first thing so make sure that whichever display you're using to control this is not mirroring another display they need to be different now there are good reasons why I might for example have this one mirroring this one good reasons to do that but I'm gonna tell you make sure that they are not mirroring they're set to extend if they aren't supposed to have the same thing that's on them. So also in Windows, it'll say uh, extend as opposed to, I think it's duplicate. Just check that. That's the very first thing I would check under all circumstances. Secondly, go into, once you've done that, and I'd restart ProPresenter just to make sure. Make sure you go to Screens and then Configure Screens. And what I want to do there is I want to make sure that, let me check this. Okay, so here let me show you what the problem is. So if I enable this audience screen, which I could do by clicking here, clicking here, or I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, notice it covers up everything in ProPresenter. No good. So how do you solve that? Well, this particular screen has this mistake and that's on purpose I've done this just to illustrate something to you but I'm my user interface right here I dragged over to this output which I am also using for the audience screen do you like these videos but you'd really like to learn from me in person well I've got some great news for you I am traveling around the country and maybe even around the world training churches on how to use ProPresenter. So I've got a uh, either a one or a one and a half day class that you can attend. For more details, head on over to tdm.fyi slash events24, the top one right here, and uh, register for the event nearest you. If there is no event that's near you, no problem, you can request one. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash class request. That's this one down here. And um, you can 
say, hey, I'm interested in attending a class, or even I'm interested in hosting a class. Up to you which you prefer. In the last one, that is just information. It's not obligation, so don't hesitate to put your information in there, and uh, I'll let you know when there's a class in your area, or we'll talk about what it takes to host a class. It's probably a lot less than you uh, imagine that it is. So head over there, and uh, I look forward to meeting you in person. So that's a mistake. It's also the case that you, even if I hadn't dragged this over to the appropriate place, maybe uh, this user interface was on the built-in screen of my laptop that I, I'm using. Do not add a screen for the user interface, the control screen in ProPresenter 7. An audience screen is for people in the congregation. Add those there. A stage screen is for people that are leading from the stage. Add those there. Um, but do not add one for yourself. Just drag this wherever it needs to go. So if it needs to go to the screen to the left, drag it over there. If it needs to go to the screen to the right, drag it over there. But that's exactly what I would do is just do it that way. So that is how you get around that problem in ProPresenter 7. Check both of those things. And, um, and once you've checked those, if that's not it, then by all means, if you're a member of my ProPresenter 7 community on Facebook, just ask. But if not, email support at renewedvision.com, and they'll be happy to help you. If you like this content, you'd probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro, the number 7, and quick. Give me your name and email address, and I'll make a login for you for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.